Okay. Sup fam, it's Richie from Social Response, not to be confused with Propose, because apparently the general population can't articulate the word Repose. So it's so it it's it's response now. Congratulations, you've won. And if you can't already tell, uh, I, I'm I'm a little I'm a little flustered. My uh my my feathers are in a bunch. If you catch my drift, and uh, I, I'm not dressed up right now because I'm in between sessions. I'm working on uh, more music, more more things, more things that make me happy and give me purpose. But a thing happened, and I know everybody hates videos of YouTubers complaining about YouTube. I totally get it. I totally understand. Um, I don't watch those videos either, but I feel like this issue is a little more unique and it stems a little bit further um, for, for, for what I want to try, oh god, for what I want to try to say. So pretty much to summarize what happened, uh, I filmed a new music video last week, uh, the, what, what, one of the big ones, one of the expensive ones, and I upload it to YouTube to show it to like my manager and, and people that surround me. And uh, wouldn't you know it, the video was privated, so only my manager and the CGI artist could see it, and it was demonetized. Manually demonetized at that. Just, just in, insult injury. Just, just pour the whole thing assault on the wound. Why don't you? This feels strangely similar to when I, to when I posted Villain. One of my older music videos, it got demonetized and then like, I changed the thumbnail. The video was at about a quarter million views, which is a lot of views for me. That's that's really it's really good. And I had to delete the video, change the thumbnail, and then it got like approved for monetization. And the thumbnail was not bad. I think he, here it is. I can fish it up. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you, rant to you today is that um, it, it's becoming more and more difficult to justify making these bigger videos. Um, and as I just said, that's like the main purpose of why I do any of this. Um, when my main platform, or the, the, the platform that I put them on, and th there really isn't anywhere else to put these videos um, where like a reasonable amount of people will see them. And I want the people that subscribe to my channel to to see these these bigger videos that I work very hard on to put a little bit of perspective on on this current video uh, I spent my whole summer on it I really did uh, the the prep it took two months and it cost 10 grand to shoot which is fine I have no problem spending that money or that amount of effort or that amount of time on a thing that I care about or a piece, or even a four minute video. It's this stuff is, is what gets me going. This stuff is what I'm passionate about. I love making music videos. I love writing original music. I love doing music in general. That's like, this is, this is my dream. But to upload this video on private and then it gets demonetized manually, it's like, it's kind of getting shot in the kneecaps before the gate even opens. And I understand that the people that watch all of my videos, you know, the, the very small dwindling amount of you, um, obviously you will see it and uh, I hope I hope you, you enjoy it. I worked very hard on it. But the general public will will most likely not if a video gets demonetized. And it, it's it's just, it's so heartbreaking. It's, it's absolutely heartbreaking uh, to, to put that much physical anguish mentally and physically into a video just to have it kind of just get totally shit on and I'm like not even done with it, so. And in case you were wondering, yes, the thumbnail for this video was the uh, declined thumbnail that I think may have gotten it demonetized. I don't know, but like, I don't think my music videos are that racy, okay? Like, look, lo just, just, if you've seen even one or two of them, like, they're weird. Yeah, maybe they have a little bit of shock value. I mean, like, I shave my head in one, I seem to like not wearing a lot of clothing, but there's never any sexual undertones, I feel like, when I don't wear clothing. It's always for other reasons, like, Adding to the an anonymity, that's that's a hard word to say. And if the character or characters are going to be uh, all artsy and part of metaphors and stuff, I want to have their actions speak for them as opposed to what they're wearing or like how their hair is styled. So that's kind of why I generally lean towards things being naked. Um, as far, there really isn't that much violence. It's like, I don't know, it just, 
But for some reason, these videos, or at least the, the more progressive ones, always seem to get shot down by YouTube, and I, I don't feel like I have anywhere else to go with this kind of content, which leads me to kind of feel like I, I should just not make it anymore, because it's like, ah, like, follow your passion, man. Well, if each video costs like ten to fifteen thousand dollars, it's like, it's, it's great. I love doing it, but it's like, if it's not viable on this platform or any other platforms, like, I don't know. And if I can't do, if I can't do that kind of content, then like, I don't even know what, I, what I'm doing here. Like, I'm, I, at that point, I may as well just, just get a real job. I, I, it's like, it's that dire in in my head you know i i li like i said not knocking the regular content it's just like if i can't express myself in that way and i have to kind of censor myself i mean it's not like there's full-blown nudity in any of these videos i'm not breaking any youtube guidelines but like they still get demonetized they still get unfavorable ratings and it's just yeah it's it's something that's really heartbreaking and difficult to grapple with. And I'm terrified uh, of that happening to this video. Obviously, I'm going to try and change things around. Maybe it won't be demonetized. Uh, maybe it'll be my best video yet. Maybe it'll be a flop. Who knows? But uh, I'm, it's not going to stop me from trying. It's just moving past this video, doing more complex artistic videos or things that are maybe edgier or tackle more difficult subjects like before I've done like domestic violence and toxic relationships and like I don't know mental illness and depression I I, I talk about all those things and, and I like to represent them in my more artistic videos and and my art in general and it if YouTube doesn't want that and and they're not interested in representing that then I don't, I don't know where to go. If a Nicki Minaj video of her shaking her ass for four minutes is monetized because it's on Vivo or it's part of a big corporation, then maybe me being independent is the wrong way to go. Uh, but that's just me talking out of my ass because I don't, I don't really know what I'm talking about here. I'm just, I'm just frustrated. I'm very frustrated. But I do really hope the video comes out still. It's not going to hurt the quality, at least of this little cycle and I'm very proud of what I do and I, I'm excited to share it with all of you. It's just moving forward. I don't know. I don't know where that this is going. I would encourage interaction in the comments below, but I I I just this is more just me ranting, I guess. I I've kind of uh, backed myself up into a corner by making edgier content sometimes. And um, since the adpocalypse, which seems like forever now, um, it just, it's more difficult to, to get away with that kind of stuff and spend lots of money on it. Um, yeah, so stay sad, but not too sad. And cover tomorrow. See you, see you later.